Let me tell you the difference between apple and apple. <laughs> this is the gift. This is the fruit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit, they're nice. Very nice. Uh, they tell you things like we were worshiping and it was saying, hey, the, the place you're in is too loud. Ten more minutes and your ears are going to hurt. I, I showed Ilya. I was like, Ilya, I'm going to die. <laughs> that's, that's the gift. It has so many awesome features. It's so important. It helps me to track my fitness. It helps me to read messages. It's, it's, it's beautiful. That is the gift. You wear it. You use it. It has functions. This is the fruit. The fruits, you know, understand, you know where they're made. Not in China. Okay, maybe some in China. But they're, they're made in the garden where the trees don't strive. Trees, just, just trees. And fruits are produced slowly. First they're sour and then they're sweet. See, when Holy Spirit is working on your character, your character first will be sour. And you don't guilt trip yourself with it. You just know one thing. I keep cultivating a relationship and he keeps working. And if, you're, if your wife says, nah, your character is still sour, says because Holy Spirit is working. <laughs> if your patience is sour, Holy Spirit is working. If you're still need, not there where you're supposed to be, you don't go back and pick it up to working on it. You say, Holy Spirit is working and I have to be sour before I'm sweet. <laughs> fruit, the benefit of a fruit is this. If you're full of the Holy Spirit, you work on your relationship, not on your character. He will produce it slowly. He will make it sour before it's sweet. But then the best part is this. People around you will be nourished as a result of you yielding to the Holy Spirit. Your spouse will not have to have counseling to deal with the damages of your words. Because you will be a fruit. You know what they do with fruits? They eat them. I always say this. When you have a fruit of the Spirit, your spouse will be fed by you. Without the fruit of the Spirit, they will be fed up with you. When you have a fruit of the Spirit, your parents will be fed by you. This is exactly what's going to happen with a Spirit-filled person at home. Parents will do this. Mm. You clean that house, wash the dishes, you home on time. Man, so good. Hey son, do you need any money? Let me find you some. Why? Because when you're full of the Holy Spirit, you have a fruit of the Spirit. When you have a fruit of the Spirit, you will feed those near you. You can impact the stages with this, but you will always feed with your fruit. That's why you can make nations think you're anointed and your family doesn't want to talk to you. Because you got the gift. But you don't have the fruit but how do you get the fruit you're filled with holy spirit you cultivate relationship you don't work on your character you work on your relationship he produces the fruit and the people around you get the benefit of eating from the work of the holy spirit in your life and if you don't have it you starve people around you and they will always say things we're fed up with you not because you don't have the anointing not because you don't have the gifting it's because you're working on your character and your reputation instead of working on your relationship that will produce your character and your reputation somebody say amen somebody touch your neighbor and say don't work on your character touch your neighbor and say cultivate relationship cultivate intimacy with god don't try to fix your issues fix your intimacy with god can somebody say amen come on can somebody say amen somebody needed to hear this right now there's a word for somebody in this room. God is bringing freedom because you've been under stress trying to change your character. And God is saying, listen, I want to change that for you. But I want you to spend time with me. I want you to spend time in my word. I want you to make relationship a priority instead of your character.